In this tutorial, I'll show you how to squeeze your friend, not in real life, but in Photoshop. I'll be using this hand photo. I tried to find a proper stock photo, but I only found photos where the arms are tightly closed. This won't work here, so I'll be using my skinny hand. But good thing, I found other images that we'll be using in this tutorial. We'll need his head and one leg from here and the other from this image. Okay, first I need to make a selection. You can use any selection tool. I'm not gonna bore you with showing you making a selection. I've already selected them. If you want to learn how to make a selection, then you can watch my other Photoshop tutorials. Here are the two legs and the head and I will place them where they need to be placed. Press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform and make it smaller and place it here. We'll mask out some portions later so that it looks like some parts of his legs are inside the fingers. Do the same for the other leg and the head. If you can't figure out how long the body should be, then you can take the actual photo and use it as a reference. For this we need to select this person. Select the quick selection tool and make a rough selection. It doesn't need to be perfect at all. Now bring this guy over to our main tab and try to match the head with the leg. Looks like the head is a bit bigger compared to the legs. Press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform and make it smaller. Now we need to mask out this area so that it looks like the legs are inside his hand. I'll group these three layers to make it more organized. Also this way we just need to create only one mask. Now we need to make a selection around the fingers. Let's use the pen tool. This time the selection needs to be perfect. I'll make two selections, one for the legs and the other for the head. We can go to path and just name anything to save it. Now click the mask icon to create a mask. Right click and select make selection. Give it a little bit of feather. Now fill it with black to hide these areas. Oh, I made a mistake. The left leg needs to be placed above the right leg. From the layers panel, drag leg 1 above the leg 2. Let's reposition the legs and the head a bit. One more thing I wanna change is the foot. Right now it looks like it's in a dancing mode. We can fix that with the puppet verb tool. Go to edit and select puppet verb. I'll drop some pins in the foot and also some pins at the upper areas. Now move the pin in the foot to make it less bent. Also I'll rotate it from the knee. I'll do the same for the other leg. The legs are a bit darker, so I'll create a curve, clip it to the layers below, and make it a bit brighter. Maybe a little bit of red to match it. Repeat the process for the other layers as well. Okay, great. Now we'll add shadows. For the head, create a new layer and clip it to the head layer. Select the brush tool, select foreground color black, set the flow at around 10% and set the blend mode to multiply. Now just paint. We need to create shadows for both the person and the hand. For the legs, you can follow the same process. Okay, that looks good. Next, I will create a shadow for the whole hand. Create a new layer just below the hand layer. Press Ctrl or Command and click the hand layer to make a selection. Press Alt or Option and Backspace to fill it with the foreground color, here which is black. Now press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform and move it where you want the shadows to be placed. Right now, the shadows is too sharp, so I'll add some Gaussian blur to it. Also, I'll reduce the opacity. Finally, I want to change the background to something gray. I'll create a solid color adjustment layer and pick something gray. I'll create multiple solids to give it a gradient look. And there you have it. If you want to add hands, you can follow the same process. I would suggest you to take your own photos. That way you can customize the face expression or leg or hand positions according to your need. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Photoshop tricks and tips, then click these videos. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.